morning. Um, it is, what's today? Saturday? It's May 1st. May 1st. It's 6.50. Um, just, uh, about to make some coffee. Yeah, that's where I slept. I put my tent up in the shelter on this pea gravel. It's a lot better than being up on these hard boards. Maps. Our one's looking at the map over here. And uh, we think, we think that looking at this map, that the elevation is pretty not near what we went through. And... Oh, is it not near what we went through? But it's trending downhill, you would say, Warren? I think so, yeah. Trending downhill. And not flat, but a lot better than what it was. So uh, we feel, both feel a lot better today. And uh, we're going to carry on. So we have some coffee and some breakfast. And I doubt we're going to set any speed records getting out of camp. Um, but we're going to carry on today to the next shelter. And this really is a fabulous camp spot. Man. so tired when I got here you didn't really somebody's been going down the trail out there I can't attempt that down to the river that's where we're at for today on Saturday May the 1st alright Saturday morning May 1st, it's 9 o'clock, uh, headed out, Turner Gap Shelter, and of course there's the shelter again, nice shelter, and uh, nice little drop off right there down to the creek. a beautiful place to camp it's hard to leave right actually um, so I think we've got 10.9 miles today to um, the next shelter that's the goal hopefully I'm carrying a liter and a half of water right now. Uh, there's not supposed to be any water along along this whole trail here, but it just rained all that rain the other day, so we think that maybe there'll be some water. Uh, if not, I'll just be conservative with the water. Uh, we have some stashed at the shelter, so we'll have water there. Uh, but it looks like a really nice day. It's sunny right now. I have no idea what the weather actual forecast is. Um, I know I gotta climb up this trail to get out of here just to get back on the trail. Start the day off. Looks like a steady climb, of course to start the day and then once we top out um, it should be a slow down for a long ways with intermittent ups and ups and then back down so nothing is drastic on the map looking at the map as yesterday uh, but you never know all right so this is the start of the day right, so this is uh, the shelter down there you see it should come through barely make it out right there 
trail comes right up here, up here, and then kind of neat, I guess, up between these, these big rocks. All right, folks, back on the trail. I'm going down that way. This is a 10 minute climb out of that shelter. Just leaving out of the trail here. We're at mile marker 80. And it looks like another up. So. catch my breath anyways anything I post past this will be just past mom marker 80 all right I'm out all right I'm a mile <clears throat> into the hike for the day um, it's been a gradual uphill the whole way uh, I say gradual it's been uphill the whole way I think uh, my watch says I've gained 324 feet of elevation. This is where I'm at, if you can see that. So I'm right here, started down here at the shelter, and I'm here. Uh, so I'm almost at the top of this climb, and then there's some ups, and then uh, pretty flat. And then it should be downhill for a while, and then some more ups. So... Um, not bad i still had to stop fairly regular just to catch my breath uh, just do what i do walk to a tree um, stop and catch my breath and then uh, pick out another point and walk to that but like this stretch right here <clears throat> you can see looks like it's kind of working its way down maybe before i go a little probably a little up you can almost always tell if you can see the tops of the trees up there you can see the elevations and go up a little bit so it's not going to be much um, if you're going to do an up this would be a good a good way to do an up i don't have any views i know there's a valley down in there i can see the other side of the mountains over there uh, just barely through the trees and then this i'm kind of coming up now and getting a little bit of breeze but when i was I was in a little bit thicker stuff and there was no breeze and it was really humid so um, <clears throat> excuse me uh, this part of the trail I love this these flats like this man this trail will make you really really appreciate these flats more and more but I'm that up wasn't so bad and that's the long up. the other ups are like short ups and i think that was the long or this is the long up for the day um and it's not bad nothing like yesterday where we were going six miles up and then straight down and then another mile up or whatever it was so i start my watch again anyways it's ridiculous but so this is uh, looking pretty nice. But I'm gonna shut the camera off here because I'm about to go back up and finish off that off the up. And then I should hit some flat areas like I just walked through and uh, be able to make some time. I think I made 33 minutes on the first mile and uh, I'll take that uh, considering where I'm at uh, for the up and everything. I'm fairly happy with that. But all right, I'm out. All right, another update. I'm uh, about two miles. Of course, I'm using my Apple Watch by miles, so it says I'm two miles from the shelter. I've gained uh, 422 feet of elevation, but since the last mile marker, it's been level to trending down the whole way. So it's been super nice. Let me give you a picture of where I'm at. If that'll come through. I have no idea what this is gonna look like on film. Um, I just hope that it'll show up. 
so right now i'm in between 81.5 and mile marker 82 looks like i'm headed uh, for down to mile marker 82 and then down for a little to mile marker 83 so the next mile and a half should be really good and then i have an up so um the trail has been great so far through here i mean as far as elevation and challenge it's a little overgrown in places um but it being spring you know i oops sorry for blocking that being spring and everything i yeah i i, I expect that i mean i know i don't know if i got him on film yesterday but we ran into a worker a contract worker for the he don't work for foot he works for uh, he does all the trails for the state, but he works for a private company that contracts out, I guess. Anyways, so he was on a motorcycle with his um, weed eater, and he would uh, ride the motorcycle up to the part of the trail that needed to be weed eated, and uh, then carry on to the next part. So they just, they I think he said they have four or seven i can't remember trails in arkansas that they take care of this being the longest trail yeah i mean we were sitting there eating lunch i don't know if i filmed that or not i'm i was so out of it but um yeah we heard a motorcycle coming and sure enough here he came he stopped and talked to us for about 15 minutes uh super great guy i certainly appreciate uh everything that he's doing uh all right, another mile down, another set of memories. Uh, boy, this last mile has been beautiful. Just a uh, long slope, gentle sloping uh, downward trail. Uh, this keeps up, you may catch me skipping and whistling and singing down the trail like I'm strolling my way through Disney World or something. Uh, just amazing. Uh, from yesterday to the, to today and uh i'm not trying to jinx myself on what's coming up um i'm just appreciative of that last mile that was i mean that's a full mile of just beautiful trail and actually the mile before that was pretty nice so um let's take a look at gut hooks and see where i'm at i'm right at mile marker 83 can you see that all right, looks like I have a little bit of a climb to here and then there. So that looks kind of steep. That could be kind of steep, I don't know. And then that looks kind of steep down. So that's where I'm at. In between miles, I just wanted to video a little bit of the trail. So I did that up that you saw on gut hooks if you could see it wasn't bad at all looks worse on that picture than what it was and uh now this is what the trail is like now this is this is just amazing trail right here so happy with this so really A little bit of breeze when I came up on that, on the top of that up, it felt good. Um, and it looks kind of like the trail's gonna zigzag. Maybe up again. Can you see? Anyways, I just wanted to give a little bit of a perspective of the trail from here. Yeah, we're going up again. There's a blue blaze on that tree right there. So, all right, I'm we'll sign off for now. All right, I guess I thought I was at the top of that up, but this may actually be the top of that up. Get a little bit of a view, I guess. The mountains across valley that's 
about it. That's about all you can see, but we have a nice little breeze right here. Feels good. About 3.69 miles from the shelter. Just past mile 83, I believe. All right. I see my hiking buddy Warren up there. <laughs> and he's found us a place to take a little break. That's why I'm hiking with Warren. Because he can find the best spots for a break. I'm glad to see you found us a good spot for a break. All right, nice little break here of Warren. He already left. Uh, a little bit ago at mile marker 84. Uh, about to hit a little bit of an up. And um, probably two miles. And uh, we're going to stop for lunch again. So about ever. So that'll give me another break in a couple of miles. But this was real relaxing. It was a good break. I'm ready to move forward. All right, just gonna give an update. I'm just, I'm walking back actually. I'm just past mile marker 85. And uh, it's just like it was a campsite at one time. I don't know if they blocked this off. They don't want you camping here now or not. The old fire ring had been used in a long time. And uh, I never saw a mile marker for 85. Mile marker 85. So lunch is supposed to be at mile marker 86. That's what Warren said he was going to try to shoot for. Um, so I think what I'm going to do now, I'm about to drop down and then that big climb and I think that's going to be a steep climb and that climb is probably going to take me a while so I doubt I'll film any of that oh yeah going down I did take my first fall um, I was just exhausted kind of dragging my foot my right foot caught on a rock and I went face first to the ground luckily I caught myself in my hands um, but you just, I was just being tired. I was waiting until I got to 80 mile marker 85 to take a break and I should have already rested for a little bit. But, so this is a trail, I've got the, the up coming. And uh, just wanting to get it over with now, but it should be done by 85.4. So four tenths of a mile of an up, which means it's gonna be pretty steep we'll see all right i'm out all right trail just crossed this road right here between mile 85 and 86 I came upon these jugs of water for any hiker in need and uh i need some water so thank you if anybody ever sees this that actually did this for us thank you very much because i need this i appreciate it it's a hard life is there water down there do you know not that i know of but i hadn't been down there this is fs76 there's some water right there where the trail picks up. It's a gallon of water. So I'm gonna set up right here and have some lunch. All right, lunch spot was at mile marker 86, which is somewhere right there. Uh, this is some forest road junction. This place left us water right over there. Warren's up there getting ready. I had lunch right here. Um, 
if this uh, that's the force rod. No. So, all right, so <clears throat> my anchor is dead, so I don't have any battery power. So I'm not gonna film uh, a whole bunch. We have 4.4 miles to the shelter. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably get some in there, um, but not as often. And uh, try to conserve my battery. Uh, it should be all downhill. There's one little up and that's it. That's the downhill. 86. Is that 86 or 85? 86. 86. Came on this. That one deserves a picture. Yeah. I love the uh, change in the colors of the trees. From the greens to dark greens. And then you realize all those light greens are going to be gold and red. Yeah. You know, at some point in time. Yeah, that's pretty. So just past 87. There's the climb. Um, the trail so far from mile 86 to 87 has been about like this right here. Uh, I'm making a climb, about to start this climb, but uh, it is all downhill and grew nicely like this. Uh, might have been one spot that was kind of steep down, but it's very short uh, down. Had a lookout right past mile 86, which was pretty good. But uh, now we're gonna start this. Should be the last big up for today. So this, this is a uh, controlled burn area. Warren was saying they did it a couple months ago. Um, just to preserve the, the forest, no damage done to the trees. Let's come in here and burn all the underbrush. So that if a fire does start, this is a good break. I don't know how often they do it, but the first time I walked through a fire burn area. It's pretty in here. It's like a great camp spot down there, but I don't, you can't see it on the camera. It's a road. It looks like it's just four service road, maybe. All right. All right, that's looking back down the trail. This is, that might be a decent picture I could bring out of that maybe. Wow, look at that green and then the dark green in the back down the valley. There's a lake way, way back there. I'm almost to the top of this up. Hasn't been bad. It's uh, not a bad up, not as bad as it looked on gut hooks. So I'm pretty pleased with that. amazing walk through the thick forest you don't hear very many birds we got into this little barn section you hear birds chirping huh. I, I like to hear 
I like to hear the sound of birds as I walk. That's in the forest. That sounds peaceful. Look, there's a road down there. All right, I'm at a nice flat camp spot there. If you wanted, if you were tired and needed to camp, the bottom of this hill. We're coming off the hill, I guess. I don't know if it's at the bottom. It's 88. 88. Intersection of Forest Service 76 and Forest Service 48. And uh, Warren had stashed us water over here. Trail Angels have been stashing water there also. Uh, so we have water. And what's amazing is we have a picnic table where we can sit down and relax for just a little bit here. Um, and that is great. So a little break. How far do you think we are from the shelter? Two and a half miles. Two and a half miles home. All right. Just check gut hooks. We're coming up from where we were at the rest table. We had it up. It's been about like this. Hasn't been bad. I have not had to use my pick the next tree to go to. Just kind of steady walking. But it's been up, a slow gradual up. And we're almost at the very end of that up. And I just checked gut hooks and it said we're 1.4 miles from the shelter. so. That's promising. The only thing is, is uh, the side trail to the shelter is supposed to be pretty steep and pretty, pretty gnarly up 100 feet or so. I don't know, for, for a side, just to get to the shelter, that's pretty good. So I don't know if the 1.4 is actually to the shelter or just the junction to turn off on the trail to the shelter. So I'm hoping the 1.4 includes however far it is from the junction to the shelter. This is what we're walking through. This up hasn't been bad at all. It's just the end of the day, tired. Um, but, the, but it's been real gradual up if you're going to take an up this is the way to do it and then it shouldn't be long and we'll start down and I tell you we are probably a half mile Maybe a little more, I don't know, from the shelter. But it is so humid, there's no air blowing. It's supposed to rain tonight, and then rain all day tomorrow. So, my anchor is dead, so I have no way to charge up batteries. I have 66% on this battery. And I don't remember if I had any battery left on my other battery. I brought a spare, but I used it first. And I don't remember if I charged it up or not. Probably not, it's probably empty. Anyway, so just in case I don't get to film much, camp tonight at the shelter, get up, and my truck is four to four and a half miles away from the shelter. I think it's all downhill. Um, so we'll, hike probably through the rain it sounds like to my truck drive over and get Warren's truck and then uh, head home and it's been it's been a great day of hiking honestly compared to yesterday for sure uh, but some people laugh at 11 miles and <laughs> ain't nothing but uh, you know I've done 
three 11 mile days in a row now and uh that's a lot for me so maybe at one point in my hiking adventures 11 miles will be you know nothing um but at the beginning at this point of my hiking adventures it's a big deal to me and it's a I would be more inclined to go seven or eight miles. Warren said, we're seven or eight mile guys. Um, but we have to take what we've, what we've been given. There's really not any good camp spots. Plus with the rain coming, don't want to get up and have to put up wet stuff to go five, four miles to get in my truck. Anyways. I'll close out here for right now and maybe get some shots when we get to the shelter. But we have hopefully arrived. There's a blue arrow. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, I've never seen one like that. I've always seen the wooden sign. Well, let's just see. Got fine print. Good thing I've got my bifocal sunglasses. Signs will be removed at the end of the event. <laughs> well, okay. Excellent. Excellent. So what does this up here say? Oh, this is a white blaze. So wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I don't think that's white blazing all the way back here. Right. Seeing blue blazing out to the left there. Well, a white blaze says it's a off trail to like a shelter. Well, right? There's, but there's a whole bunch of other trails in this area. There's uh, a Gap Mountain Shell, Brushy Mountain Trail. But yeah, in fact, we're at, yeah, we should be at the right spot. Oh, no, we're not there yet. We're at the intersection of two other trails. Oh. So we need to continue on. I'm looking for another blue blaze, but. There's a blue one. Right Let's see where. We're at that intersection of the road, and then that's that trail. Okay. We're heading off that way. So we just keep going this way. Keep going down the road. All right, I can see the shelter up there. Maybe you can see Warren. And this climb is brutal up here. Uh, they just great day of hiking, and then they just don't let you finish easy. They just don't. I mean. You gotta climb all the way up to this shelter, it's just tough. All right, I'll turn off for now. Get you back when I get to the shelter. Rushy Creek Mountain Shelter. Looks like a really nice one again. But boy, you have to, you have to work to get up here for sure. Oh, my legs are burning. I gotta drop this pack. The shelter, finally. And it's a brutal climb up, but it looks like a pretty cool shelter. I don't see anywhere to tent. I wouldn't do it tonight anyway, because the rain. Uh, picnic table, which we'll use. Fire pit. I don't believe there's any water close at all. Uh, What direction do you think that faces? Uh, east. Facing the east. That's what I think. Nothing on the That's side. So, yeah, typical, just like every other sh shelter. Now they don't have the pea gravel, so. Well, they don't. That's all right, it's gonna be raining, so I don't need to. Warren's gonna have to figure out his hammock, how to hang it. All right, be out for a while. All right, for dinner, I'm having chicken, fried rice, Mountain House. And Warren is having his own, made it himself. What are you having, Warren, there? Chili Mac. Dehydrated himself, made it all yourself. Hopefully it doesn't kill me. Wow, so. 
Excellent shelter. We are so happy to be here for the day, for the night, I mean. Let me get, make sure we got a good picture of the shelter name. I tell you what, if you were going to hammock out here, you're going to have to go down the hill or something. I don't know exactly where you'd hammock. Or tent, down the hill. Nobody else is here. I wouldn't expect anybody else to show up tonight. Looks like some clouds are moving in. It's supposed to rain. We already knew that. Um, but this is our view right here looking out. And we we're going to cook us some dinner. And we we're going to sit right here. And there's a slight breeze blowing in every now and then. And uh, we are going to enjoy this view and enjoy dinner. All right, we're out.